Hey everyone, BBQ Kyle here. Today, continuing work on the Guardian Farm again. But I have a ton of Prismarine, so that's what we're going to focus on, is getting the top half done. I'm going to go up, tear down what's left of the original monument, and start placing this. Just going to grab a couple stacks for now. That should be enough to get me started. Oh, I don't have any signs. Damn it. Kind of need that. There we go. Now I can breathe underwater. Start tearing down. Damn it! Well, we're already off to a shit start. Um, I did not realize my armor was that bad. Let's actually take those off. Actually, those can stay on. Let me go repair that first. There we go. Booties and four diamonds cost seven, which I don't have. What we make a pair of booties? Only cost five. Well, since it's the same amount of diamonds either way, couldn't repair them, just hoping that I can gain enough levels without dying. Or them breaking. Damn it, I missed part of the cobble. That's actually helping me right now, though. Ow! Ow! Damn it! Oh, would you piss off? I'm about dead. There we go. Now I got all the cobblestone out of here. I can take all this out when I take out that wall, but I'm happy with that. Just had to come down to my base to grab some more prismarine, and I'll show you why I need it. I needed places to hide, so I figured I'd start building the pillars up as I'm tearing it down, and this seems to be working great. I'm not getting hit nearly as much. Damn it! The only time it doesn't work is when they're directly above you. Then you're pretty much screwed. There we go, the monument's all torn down. The only thing left is what I need there. Oh, look at that, that's perfect. All the pillars on this corner have been started, just gotta dig out the floor. Fill that in real quick. But I don't like all these guardians on the outside screw off. So I think I'm going to work on the walls next. After I get some much needed air. There we go. Can't forget to remove my air pocket signs. Now the reason I'm building this wall is because I want to be able to build the pillars with my back up against it. So that way they don't have a clean shot at me. I can hide behind the pillar I'm building or... Basically, you swim up against the wall and they won't be able to get me. But with them being able to get outside, they'd be able to hit me from pretty much any angle. This kind of eliminates that. Now all I gotta do is build up a ton of these pillars. So I realized my booties were just about dead and I've decided to run to the blaze farm. Get them fixed up. I got the diamonds I need, I just need a few more levels. Shit! Damn. Aw, oh, damn it, that's right, there's no anvil down here. It broke last time I was down here. Shit. There we go, 15's good. Now I just gotta survive the walk back, which, ah, uh, shit. That's right, fuck off out of here. There we go. And see, so want to look down in my cellar, see if we got any books that I want to add to this armor. Thought I'd put the books down here. There they are. There we go, combine some books. Decided not to fix this, it was eight levels, so... Helmet's not getting fixed. Was hoping I had an unbreaking somewhere, but oh well. Let's see, while I'm here, I'll also craft up... The redstone components I need for the sorting system. Ooh. That's, uh, not a lot of iron. And I'm doing a sorting system. Let's see, there's some more in my house. Shit, don't have any more. Oh well, we'll make it work. 
That's he had 12 in there. 24 iron ore in this chest. Oh, 45 in there. 57 ore there. Oh, we're good on iron. Don't know what I was worried about. There we go. Let's clear out some space to work. Hmm, now comes decision time. How exactly do I want to do this? I think it's time to do a bit of testing. If I take out those blocks, will they still jump up into the lava? Yeah, it's working just fine. Nah, it looks like they are taking longer to die. Quite a bit longer. So I don't want to do that. Alright. I gotta get them out of the way, but they're not making it easy. There we go. Put our hoppers back in. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. Hmm, that's not working either. Because I want to make this also an XP farm. So I think I'm going to have to do that. Then we put slabs there. This isn't working the way I want. So the sound is a bit horrendous, but I think this is what I'm going to go with. It'll take a little bit more for them to die, but... They still die. Now if I just had an infinity bow, I could use it as an XP farm. Let's see, hopefully I can be quick about this. Got it. Oh damn, looks like they're just dying because there's too many of them there. That is awesome. Might not even need the lava. Hmm... I'm trying to put in the hoppers to collect any ink sacks that might fall down here. I think this is going to be the only way I can do it. Which is damn near drowning myself. Careful. Got it. Go, 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 go. I did not get them both. Piss off. I only got one. Alright, try it again. Alright, get that one out. Quickly, quickly. There we go, one more. Yeah, having all these here does not seem to be slowing down the spawn rate. They're still pouring into this thing. Oh, wait. If I don't have the lava in there, I don't need to... I need to tear all those hoppers back out. Hmm. So many decisions to make. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to put the lava back in. Now, here's hoping lava doesn't burn chests. There we go, perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this like this, and we'll see how much we catch, see if it's worth even bothering. Cause I won't know until I get the columns in if the squid will still spawn in there. Actually, they'll still spawn in the pool though. I've seen them uh, spawning in the collecting pool, so probably just leave it in. We'll connect it up. Let's see, next thing for the sorting system I'll need is a dropper. Facing this way. Hopper's going next, I believe. I haven't done one of these. I haven't done one like this before. And there will be some sort of overflow protection. Alright, where's my bucket? There we go. And now we want that. Perfect. Alright, well we don't want them getting stuck there. Oh, I did this dumb. Hold on. Let's see, I want to fill this up with junk. There we go, just for the purposes of testing this. There we go. And it makes it into the third one. Perfect. And if it's all filled up, it ends up down here. Excellent. Uh, I gotta get the redstone in now. Wait, I did this stupid. Take out every other one. 
Now I can put in my comparator. Like that. Perfect. That has something in it. Oh, it's got a hopper. There we go. All right, I got this figured out. I'm no longer dumb. Well, I mean, I am, but shut up. Damn it, I don't have any redstone. Told you I was still dumb. Redstone. Oops. No, I screwed up this one. I think after all these I've built, I'd know how to actually make them. Put in a double chest. With a hopper there. Then a block. Hmm. I have to move this up one. Do it like that with that there. Then we do a trap chest. One, two. And actually, now that I think about it, shit. Uh, I screwed up again. Oh, I'm doing this all wrong. And yeah, how many of you are laughing at me for doing this right like this? All right. I always screw these up. I don't know why, but I can't get these right on the first try ever. Let's see. So this one will be shards, crystals, uh, insects. No, no, no. We'll do shards, crystals. Those two are staying the same. Cooked fish, raw fish, ink sack. There we go. Stack of shards. So shard, crystal, cooked fish, raw fish. I need to grab ink sacks and a bunch of cobblestone. So you'll need a trap chest, regular chest, hopper, hopper. Perfect. Ink sacks, fish, crystal, shard. So I'll need one more repeater and... One more comparator. I'm hoping that's all I'm going to need. Uh, let's see. How exactly do I want to do this? Put that there and... This is going to be so weird when it's done. All right, that didn't work. Wait, that's working. All right, I ain't touching it. I don't know why I had to work so hard to get this to work, but that seems to be working. Oh, that took entirely too long. I think I'm actually going to make this one ink sack. And then this last one just miscellaneous, so I don't really need this in here. Go ahead and remove that. So this will be raw fish and just about everything else. All right. So the complicated part's done. Now I can move on to the simpler bits. So we'll need chest. Trap chest. Chest. Trap chest. Chest. Trap chest. Chest. Trap chest. Hoppers like that. So both of these will be shards, crystals, cooked fish, ink sacks, and other. There we go. I can start loading this up now. Are we actually getting any cooked fish, or is it just... Was that because the fish was catching on fire in the lava? I thought these things actually dropped cooked fish. But I'm getting a lot more raw fish. I think I'm going to swap those. Oh, I see what's happening. Oh, 
cobblestone fell in there. Damn it. Oh, I just broke it. I broke it so bad. All right, now I need to go grab a bucket. How all of a sudden did I get so bad at redstone? I thought I put raw fish in the third one. Why is it ending up in the end? Uh, because this interfered with it. There we go. That one's good. That one's good. Let me get all the fish out of here. God damn it. It would probably work a lot better if I had packed ice, but I don't. Well, all right, we got a working sorting system after it took too damn long. Now I just got to work on extra storage because, well, this is not going to be enough, especially since I already have enough to fill pretty much all those chests. But unfortunately, I'm out of time for today, so that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit like. If you didn't, hit dislike. If you want to know when the next one's coming out, hit subscribe. Any questions or comments, don't be shy. Leave them down below, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, guys, take it easy.